I think um, the other supplementary, sorry, de devolution and um, concerns, particularly in recent months, which have been highlighted by COVID over the lack of consultation, communication with devolved governments, the increase in centralisation of power, um, and I refer to the Internal Market Bill and the concerns in Wales um, in terms like riding roughshod over the devolution settlements, a smash and grab of um, the devolved settlement, the Brexit bill and the lack of time and ability for the Senate to give proper consideration to the content of that are real concerns for people in Wales and throughout the country. Um, so can you give some reassurance uh, uh, now, Secretary of State, that that isn't your intention? And this is directly related, I think, to what, what may come out in the Dunlop review, that you're not looking to re-centralise and ride well, rough shots over I, the um, uh, Absolutely. And I'm glad you raised the question because uh, I think the... Uh, I, I find that the claims which have been made, it's almost sort of uh, uh, almost it, it's almost disbelief that I've read some of the things that have been read. Um, uh, and it's almost as if uh, there's a sort of confected row around this. Uh, the reality of the devolution settlement is, as far as I'm concerned, um, it is completely un impeded by anything uh, that has been done. And indeed, it seems very odd to me that one government would want to resist the attempts of, of another government to enhance and increase its, its power base and its spending capacity. And the fact is, we are trying to get more money into Wales, into the areas that need it the most. Uh, that's what uh, a lot of this is about. And UKIM, now an act, uh, is a very good example of that because, uh, you know, the UK government, whether it was Labour, Conservative or anybody else, um, the idea that the UK government couldn't uh, assist in key areas of, for example, infrastructure investment in devolved nations is absurd. And I don't believe that we'd be having this argument. I suspect if it was a Labour government in London and a Labour government in Cardiff, this wouldn't be an issue. It's only an issue because the two governments are of a different colour. Because um, it's never been raised, but it's never been raised by any of the businesses I speak to, never been raised by any of the charities I speak to, never been raised by any of the universities I speak to. And frankly, my constituency inbox has never, not once, received an email from somebody who was complaining about power grabs or smash and grab or all those other expressions. Not once. And it's really well, I know important. We're gonna, I know we're gonna really important that. Because Welsh governments actually, don't forget, got 60 more powers, at least. 60 more powers as a result uh, uh, of this process. And so if it's a smash and grab rate, it's not a very effective one. Gonna, I, I Just finally, sorry. Last, I, last, I, question. last question, please, Beth. I just want to come back on that, sorry. I, I will beg to differ. I know we're coming on to the Shared Prosperity Fund. We interviewed a cross-section of stakeholders um, who um, are of a very different opinion to you, as is Welsh Government. So we, we'll have, have to agree to disagree on this. And I look forward to continuing the debate with well, you. In the future, Welsh Government you. would disagree, but would disagree, wouldn't they? Because uh, they, uh, unsurprisingly, I suppose, want to see everything uh, relating to devolution go through Cardiff. I want to see everything, in as far as devolution is concerned, going to the decision-making process to the most uh, localised basis that we can have it. So I want to see local authorities take a more active role in spending decisions and prioritisation. I want to see uh, stakeholders and, and charities and others do the same thing. And I'm, it, it speaks volumes to me that Welsh Government always talk about power whereas all these other organisations always talk about jobs and livelihoods. Welsh Government seem to be obsessed with the sort of the, the minutiae of the power arrangements around this and not around what I think we should be focused on, which is how do we make Wales more prosperous and more uh, equal in the distribution uh, of, of funds. That's where I'm coming from. And it seems to me very odd that there are politicians in Cardiff who seem spooked by that ambition. Okay. Welsh government, sorry, fine. Yeah. Welsh government, the elected yeah. government in Wales, and yeah. they should have the decision making power to decide where. And local authorities are. Local authorities, and local Welsh government, does. Welsh government consult and work very closely yeah. with local authorities. The best place to make those decisions. Thank you okay. very much. Beth. Thank you, Secretary of State Beth.